Well, hello and welcome to Five Minutes from Friendship. I'm Clint Louie and I'm glad to have you here. As my dear friend, Brother Mike Raglan says, greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I wanted to talk just for a few moments about being filled with the Spirit, being full of the Holy Ghost. As we read the Word of God, we discover that saved people are to be filled with the Spirit of God. Now, when I got saved, the Lord Jesus, by His Spirit, came to live in me. And my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. But I'm to be filled with Him constantly. And that's something I need all the time. And being full of the Spirit is not about you or me getting more of God. It's really about God getting more of us. And the Bible says in Ephesians 5 and verse 18, And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Now the contrast there is simply to teach us that if a man is drunk with wine, something else is controlling his actions. A man may uh, be charged with DUI, driving under the influence, and what that means is something else is controlling his actions. Well, when we're filled with the Spirit, someone else is in control. And if a person is Spirit-filled, Ephesians 5 verses 19 through 21 gives us three evidences, natural fruits of being filled with the Spirit. The first one is that the Bible says, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. It is natural for a child of God to sing. And that doesn't mean you have to sing out loud, and it doesn't mean that you might necessarily sing in front of a church, but it is natural. A spirit-filled person will have a song in their heart. I want to ask you, do you have joy in your heart? Do you have a song down deep in your heart? God will give you a song, and it's natural for a child of God who's filled with the Holy Ghost to want to sing and be glad in the Lord. The second evidence, the Bible says, a person not only have a song, but a person will be thankful, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's Ephesians 5 and verse 20. The Bible says we're to give thanks. Are you a thankful person? It is natural for a spirit-filled person to give thanks. I'm convicted in my own heart at times because of how much unthankfulness and complaining and murmuring I find in my own self, even in just simple little things like driving down the road or going to the store, and some little thing can cause me to murmur and complain when I've got so much to thank Him for and so much to praise Him for. I ought to give Him thanks that I'm saved, and I ought to give Him thanks for the blessings He has bestowed. And finally, a Spirit-filled person, the Bible says, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. There is a natural, uh, a natural submission of God's people one to another. That means we care about one another. We're concerned about their needs and about their growth in the Lord. And I'm not looking to further myself at your expense, but rather I submit myself to you for your edification for you to be built up. There's a mutual submission there in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I want to encourage you, seek the Lord to be spirit-filled. God bless you. Have a great day. Happy am I. Jesus is mine forever, never to leave. Always in